Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. We're here at the 2024 SHOT Show at the Hornady booth, and I'm talking to Seth Swerzik. Seth, it's good to see you, man. You as well, Gavin. Thanks for, for stopping by. Yeah, this is lots to talk about. So it's new, year. new stuff from Hornady. We just built a 22 arc bolt gun, yeah. which was totally fun. And I've been absolutely blown away with that, what that thing can do. Yeah, it's really a versatile cartridge. And although we designed it to fit in that AR-15, it's equally at home in a bolt gun. And with the efficiency of the bullets, these things are screaming for velocity. They hold on to that velocity a long ways downrange. It's just a fun long range cartridge. Absolutely. The bolt gun is great. I am thinking to get an AR as well to kind of do a bit of a comparison. Really yeah, I, good stuff. I think the gas gun for night hunting, that is the ultimate use for the 22 arc. We got a brand new bullet that, I mean, it anchors coyotes great in the wind, laser flat, and in a gas gun, it's really the home run. Yeah, we just started some load development with that bullet. I, I think you're talking about the 62 ELD VT? Yes, sir. Yes. Super, super impressive results. We were using Stayball Match, mm -hmm. which is like a Varget speed powder. We're seeing extreme spreads and SDs in the 1.6 on our SD and wow. like, like five feet per second extreme spread. So when we're pushing the 22 arc, we've added out to 1,390 yards, and I have been, like, I literally can't believe what this thing is doing. Mild recoiling, really, really good stuff. So the big news is, just yesterday, Sammy approval for not only the 22 ARC, but... The 22 Creedmoor as well. Yeah, Two hot 22s. It's, yeah, you know what, they're, and they're different tools for different jobs. There's some mm -hmm. crossover, of course, but for hot rod 22s, 2024 is a big year. Yes. Having done the 22 arc build, I'm now thinking I need to do a 22 Creedmoor build because a lot of people are asking for it. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, like you're saying, you got two different tools for two different jobs, but super, super high performance in both cases. And with Hornady's lineup of bullets, we've been shooting the 75 ELDMs, mm -hmm. we've got the 88 ELDMs, and we've also got the 62 ELD VTs. A lot of things to experiment. With the 22 Creedmoor, tell me what's the hotness? Since I don't have one, I haven't yeah, built one. The hotness is just hot, nasty speed. <laughs> I mean, speed kills. It yep. is like, it, it sounds like a laser beam when you shoot it. It is so fast and, and so effective on more than just predators. You know, that's a big fuel tank. It's a big case. Mm -hmm. And when, with the right bullet, you know, we have an ELDX load uh, in the Precision Hunter line available exclusively through Texas Ammo and Horizon nice. Firearms. Yep. Um, it's a great antelope cartridge or deer cartridge in those long range varmints. It's just fast, flat, accurate, and, and again, way more effective than you might think a 22 caliber can be. Is that the 80 ELDX? Yes. Okay, that's what I was just transposing a moment ago. We yep. got 88 ELDM. Yep. 80 ELDX. I think that's probably that and the ELD VT. I'm going to both look at for varmiting yeah. applications because they both sound like a real winner. Yeah, the VT is really a hit. Uh, you know, when I say 62 grain, 22 caliber bullet, mm -hmm. most people have an idea of what that bullet looks like. That's not what the bullet looks like. <laughs> the 62 ELD VT looks like a 75 grain match bullet. Really mm -hmm. long ogive, really mm -hmm. long boat tail, and the unique core layout that we have allows for dramatic expansion. And when you get those big, furred up, heavy coyotes at extended range, that bullet just anchors. <laughs> yeah, really, really good stuff. So let's talk a little bit more about ELDVT since sure. that's something that's new. Tell me about what it's for, the yeah. bullet construction, all of that. So this is a technology that we've been playing with for several years now. And what it allows us to do is draw a bullet jacket out, uh, a, a really thick jacket, uh, that still uses our AMP bullet jackets. That's our match grade bullet jackets. Mm -hmm. And then we cut the lead core and seat it in a reduced height. Okay. That moves the center of gravity rearward. Mm -hmm. And with a more rearward center of gravity, that can help with dynamic stability. It can help that bullet go to sleep a little faster. Interesting. And then it puts a big air cavity up front, yep. which allows for that dramatic expansion. So you end up with a, a really win-win-win. You have shape drag because it's long ogive, long boat tail. You have really good drag characteristics there. You have a reduced weight, so you're getting higher muzzle velocity, and then you have a bullet that just comes apart like a hand grenade when it gets there. So when is someone going to want to go with ELDVT as opposed to ELDX? I think the difference there is that ELDX is going to be the medium game, the antelope, okay. the deer, the elk, that yep. size. The VT, not recommended on those bigger games. Uh, 
something like a, a maybe a wolf would be about as big as you'd comfortably okay. want to go, but certainly for those uh, you know predators, coyotes, that kind of coyotes, thing, that yep. BT is is going to thrive. I'm thinking I want to try it on rock chucks since we have Absolutely. a lot of those up yeah. around our place. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Okay, and then how about factory ammo? So factory ammo, you come out with a bullet like the VT, you have to support it with factory ammo, and it's a natural fit for things like the new 22 arc. It's also available in a six millimeter arc, a 6.5 Grendel, the six Creedmoor, and a 6.5 Creedmoor. Nice. And the reason we selected those cartridges for the initial offerings is these bullets still require a pretty fast twist rate because they're very, very long. So they not they're not going to work in your 22 250. Right. Uh, they're not going to work in your six Remington. Uh, they need a little bit faster twist, and so these modern cartridges really benefit. That is super super cool. Okay, so I got a lot more 22 arc content coming up, but I am also looking at the 22 Creedmoor, and we're definitely going to have a bunch of stuff with ELD VT. I've had, like I said, really good results. I think we had about. 0.3 MOA during some of our OCD tests. Wow. You know, uh, optimal charge weight OCW tests. Yep. And uh, like I said, with the stay ball match, really, really good low development results. And the 22 arc is just a hammer. So, yeah. you know, we got the, three quarter mile performance out of this little pips. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, it's just like this opens up all sorts of new possibilities. And just, I honestly had one of the most fun days shooting in a long time. We were shooting off of the tripod at 200 yards. We were at 300, 660, 706, and then we just, we threw it all the way out to 1390, and I, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. We have those flashbangs on the target. Right. You know, they shine the green lights, and it's like, you, you gotta be kidding. This is a 22 caliber, you know? I love it. Good, good stuff. So my question for you all is, of all this new goodness, what is it that you guys want to see, and have you had your hands on the ELDVTs, the 22 ARC, the 22 Creedmoor? Drop a comment, and we'll start a discussion. Thank you, Seth, so much. Thank you, Gavin. I'm having a lot of fun with the Hornady gear this year, and I just really appreciate the partnership with yeah, you guys. Yeah, likewise. Okay, that concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. If you're interested in custom rifles like what we build here on the channel or gunsmithing services, you're gonna to wanna to go to rifles.ultimatereloader.com and get on the wait list. If you wanna learn lucrative gunsmithing like what I show here on the channel, including building custom rifles and Cerakote plus a whole bunch more, you're gonna to wanna to check out the Colorado School of Trades, schooloftrades.edu. Thanks again for watching.